Your Bizarre Adventure is probably my favorite JoJo game on Roblox. I can't recommend it enough to anybody who enjoys JoJo Roblox for one reason and one reason alone. Content. Your Bizarre Adventure is probably the most content-filled JoJo game out of all of them. I've never really rated it though on a scale of 1 to 10, so I decided, hey, uh, let's do my first actual game review. Remember, this is my opinion. Please don't harass me for this. You could love this game. You could hate this game. I don't care. If you want to let me know how you feel, just tell me in the comments below. That would be awesome. But anyways, uh, let's start the review. One of the things I don't like about this game is the story. It consists, it consists of nothing but fetch and grind quests for all of it. One example being a Bruno mission. You have to get $5,000 and bring it to Trish, which already takes enough time on its own. For every single quest, you either have to give another NPC an item or fight a random boss. The only the useful thing you get from the story is XP and a Requiem Arrow. The combat in this game is actually really fun. You can pull off some really good combos. My only real issue from that with the combat is that some of the stands aren't very balanced, leaving some stands far better than others. Now most JoJo games have a pretty bad community, so I decided to pull an experiment. I sat AFK for 10 minutes in 3 different servers to see if I would be attacked while being AFK. Surprisingly, I was only attacked one time, which is actually really surprising <laughs> because of how toxic these games are. Uh, after that, I went up to random people and asked them for items to see if they would help me out because I was on an alt account and didn't have anything. And surprisingly, everyone gave me an item, so, uh, which is really helpful. The YBA community isn't the best JoJo community, but it's nowhere near the worst. YB has some of the best effects and graphics I've ever seen in a JoJo game. Every stand looks incredibly polished, the effects look really good, and the special moves, like Killer Queen, Vice to Dust, look awesome. As stated in the beginning of the video, this is my favorite JoJo game for one reason alone, and that is the content. When you join the game, you are presented with three options. The main game, the Metal Ball Run, and the Coliseum. In the main game, you can do three things, just the story, prestige, getting stands, and many other things. The Metal Ball Run is a race where you can compete against 16 or more players to get items to evolve said stand. The Coliseum is a place where you fight other players, either in 1v1s or 2v2s with a friend. All of these are relatively fun, except for when you get with toxic players, which is all relatively rare actually, except for the Steel Ball Run, or Metal Ball Run, sorry, I know they have to change the names of everything. Even if this is my favorite JoJo game currently, that doesn't mean I'm just going to give it a 10 out of 10. While I love it, if I had to rate it, I would probably give it a 6 out of 10. While there are a few fun aspects of this game, I believe they can fix some things to make the game better. One example would be making stands more balanced, so PvP is more fun. This also makes it so anyone can win a fight based on skill, not on ability. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and share with your friends. I'd also like to shout out the people who made these possible uh, by donating to my Patreon page. Uh, if you see your names here, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. If you want to donate to my Patreon, links in the description. Uh, I'll see you guys all next time when I come out of hibernation and make a new video. Peace out.